ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் ஃபைனலி ஐம் பேக் ஆஃப்டர் அ கேப் ஆஃப் சிக்ஸ் மந்த்ஸ் ஓகே ஐஸ் ஆல்ரெடி மென்ஷன் இன் த ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோஸ் ஐ வாஸ் ப்ரிப்பேரிங் ஃபார் மை இடியாக் அண்ட் எஃப்ஆர்சி எக்ஸாம் ஸோ ஐ வாஸ் பிஸி ஸோ ஃபைனலி ஐம் பேக் வித் அ வெரி குட் நியூஸ் தட் ஐ கிளியர் மை இடியாக் பார்ட் ஒன் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் விச் ஐ கேவ் இன் த லாஸ்ட் செப்டம்பர் ஐ மீன் திஸ் செப்டம்பர் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ ஐ காட் குட் ஸ்கோர்ஸ் ஸோ ஹாப்பி டு ஷேர் தட் வித் யூ ஸோ ஐ தாட் ஆஃப் மேக்கிங் திஸ் வீடியோ டு ஹவு டு அபவுட் ஹவு டு ப்ரிப்பேர் இடியாக் அண்ட் ஹவு டு கிராக் இட் இன் த லிஸ்ட் possible time you have so coming to the idiac exams it happens every year usually it happens in the september of every year uh, it has two papers paper a and paper b paper a as all the cover about the basic sciences uh, they ask you about physics stats anat pharma physiology okay and paper b is entirely clinical uh, they will be asking the clinical anesthesiology part and the clinical intensive care medicine part so paper a i think you need some special preparation because uh, we are not used to you know the physics and statistics statistics in the depth they ask because we never read stats or uh, physics uh, during our md you know in in even our md curriculum at least in india it's not that important so you need definitely a strong special preparation a strong preparation for that so how many months and what to read see ideally it requires around 3 to 4 months of preparation 3 to 4 months of a regular preparation would be enough i feel okay regular 4 to 5 days if you are studying even if you are working you could manage so 3 to 4 months of preparation would be enough and what to read see there are lot of books and lot of you know online mcq platforms have been recommended in the telegram and the whatsapp groups i would not recommend so many uh what i did i'm going to tell you know i did only two important books okay and i scored really well okay i got around 85 86 in the paper a and 77 in the paper b i got distinction in both so i think uh you can also at least pass the exam by doing these two books okay the first book i strongly recommend and everybody recommends is mt of 1000 mt of 1000 mcq book the link has been shared in the description you can uh, refer so that is the first book to go uh, start from that book because that book has explanations which are really well framed and well given last most of the concepts will be cleared and the questions are also from the uh, you know simpler level to a difficulty level they have covered so go through that book finishing that book is definitely not an easy task and if you read that book only once definitely it won't help you you should read and revise at least twice or thrice before giving the exams i had finished that book uh, three times before i sat for the exam definitely it will help okay trust me the next one is cube 6 cube 6 because in mtf 1000 you had read lot of concepts and lot of the you know high fi complicated questions definitely are covered in the book cube 6 covers the most basic things okay because both are needed as far as the idiac is concerned because they will cover both type of questions so doing mtf 1000 and cube 6 and revising them for two to three times at least two times before you sat for the exam will definitely uh, help you to pass the exam and most of most of matlab uh, most uh, of the time you will pass 98 to 99% you will definitely pass the exam okay but if you feel insecure about this you know giving this very important exam with only two books reading uh, like this you can go for bmg on examination okay definitely reading these two books will also take you are uh, two months minimum because it's not easy to cover and uh, you know remember those things we need multiple revisions okay just one reading will definitely not going to help so after that if you still uh, want to add on something to your reading you can go for bmj on examination uh, bmj on examination is a very good they have well framed questions okay after my idiac uh, i gave my idiac in uh, you know september i got the results in uh, november actually after my idiac i gave my frc yesterday only i wrote my primary frc exam so i was doing this bmj for that frc uh, along with whatever i read for idiac so this bmj will definitely help bmj has a very good question a set of questions and good explanations okay they will cover almost everything okay and the way they have formulated the app so it's really help for the revision and you know uh, and how is your performance everything you can look at so this is a good app okay i could i would recommend that okay so about these three you know more than these three if you want to add anything you can refer to any mcq book or any platform which is recommended or given on all any other telegram or whatsapp groups but i would recommend strongly uh, mtf 1000 cube 
and if you have time bmj examination okay do these three revise as many times as possible you will definitely get through the exam okay three to four months of preparation is enough to pass the exam but it should be a regular preparation okay and one more and most important thing is please cover uh, 2017 ediac uh, question paper okay 2017 ediac questions paper with answers someone has answered them it's available in the all the groups telegram all the telegram group of the ediac exams okay so do that because every year two to three questions from the paper will come and for my exam also two to three i think three to four questions uh, i could see actually the same or that pattern of questions okay so that will definitely help you know to score well so the summary is mtf 1000 cube 6 and if you have time bmj on examination and definitely you have to do the 2016 or 17 i don't remember i think 2016 the ediac uh, question paper along with that european society of anesthesia and intensive care it has a model model questions you know uh, in uh, their website please go through that okay so i think this much preparation you will definitely take three to four months minimum three months to cover all these things and to revise it will if you do this uh, 99 to 100 percent you will definitely pass and definitely with a good score okay trust me this is what i did okay rather than doing lot of mcq book you know lot of theory books and all uh, revise what you have done okay these two are mcq books almost cover everything so just do that revise it many times you have to remember a lot of things because you are reading physics stats and all okay so they have to memorize a lot of things here you know the critical temperatures uh, the electrodes so many electrodes that clark electrode and all if you have started reading the fuel cell electrodes you know the co2 electrode ph electrode they will ask they will ask the calculation of uh, pressures in the cylinders and all so the many calculations so many formulas you may have to remember turbulent flow laminar flow formulas you have to remember so there's so many things to remember so you need multiple revisions so stick to these two books revise them okay and do all those sample questions i told european and society of anesthesiology website and 2017 if you have time do bmj i think this much will definitely help you and definitely will pass the exam if you do this thoroughly okay so uh one more uh, point i want to tell is uh, since i had given both ediac and edic uh, I, for me at least, EDIC was much more uh, difficult than the EDIAC, maybe because of the exam pattern, because EDIC has a lot of single best answer they ask when compared to the EDIAC, okay, and yesterday I gave FRCA, it is, it was in another level, FRCA, DKF difficulty level of FRCA is quite high, okay, uh, I don't know, I hopefully pass the exam, if I pass the exam, I will definitely make a video about primary FRCA, okay, uh, I think I have covered everything. If you have want to ask anything, if you have any doubts, okay, anything, you can put it in the comment section. I will definitely uh, reply whenever I am free. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe my channel if you find this is useful. Okay. Thank you.